They have not reached the site of the radioactive leak yet. However, recovery crews have pushed far underground at New Mexico's WIP site. Tonight, we have the first images of those crews exploring WIP tunnels. They're looking for what caused a Valentine's Day burst of contamination. News 13's Bob Martin has the images. WIP reentry teams start prepping on the surface, getting on gear that will protect them against ingesting stray contamination below or getting it on themselves. Each team made up of nuclear experts, miners, and emergency services people. It is a unique element to be able to put these individuals together to respect the roles that they have, but then also learn how to work together so that they're protecting each other. To enter the nuclear waste facilities underground, teams are lowered more than 2,000 feet down the shaft normally used to haul salt out. Because it also supplies fresh air, that kept an area at the bottom from getting contaminated. From this safe zone, the leak area is more than half a mile away. But as these new photos show, in several trips on foot, reentry teams have now pushed to the very doorstep of the leak without encountering measurable contamination. A clean staging area has even been established very close to, but not yet within sight of the leak. Teams carry devices to alert them to contamination. The equipment provides a real-time audio and visual alarm. If we get those alarms, we will retreat back to a safer environment. The final push to the leak requires more protection for teams than the lightweight gear so far. A couple of layers of environmental suits and more advanced breathing gear like this equipment they trained with at a nearby potash mine. Bob Martin, KRQ News 13. Whip managers say they plan to seal off the leak area, decontaminate some of the underground tunnels, and eventually return Whip to service.